Hey guys, Ray here, and welcome to a review of one of my favourite GoPro mounts, the GoPro 3-Way mount. So, first of all, I'll talk about the build quality of the GoPro 3-Way mount. Now, the handle on the mount, this section here, has a rubber coating on it, so it's easy to grip, and the rest of the mount is made out of a strong plastic, with all the screws being metal on it. The mount it can easily absorb any shocks and drops, and like all GoPro mounts, it is very sturdy, so that's the advantage you get from buying through from buying official GoPro mounts, I should say. Even though you pay a little bit more, the build quality is definitely very good. Now, one of my favorite things about the GoPro 3-way mount is its amazing versatility. So you can see here, this is it fully folded up. It's a small package, just about as big as my hand, and can be carried anywhere easily. Now, you can use the three different pivot sections that's including the one at the top where the GoPro sits to fold it into a full length GoPro pole so you can use this for taking selfie shots or when you're snowboarding, wakeboarding, anything like that. Now not only can it be assembled as a pole you can also turn it into a, a steady cam like device which is how I normally use it and this is great for getting pan shots and other various shots where you're moving a lot but you want the camera to be steady. So to do this I fold it like that and then screw this clip and fold it down. Now you'll see that the GoPro would sit here and you can easily do super steady pans with no trouble. The mount can also just be folded down all the way like I had it before and there's a little button on the side that you use if you want to fold it all the way down and be used as a just a regular small GoPro pole safe if you're in the surf that's what this is great for the last feature on the GoPro 3-way mount that I think is really awesome is the attachable tripod now if you see down the bottom here there's a little screw and if you unscrew it out comes a little tripod stand. And you simply turn it around, screw it back in, and you have yourself a functioning tripod. Now the tripod sits very stable when it's like this and you can attach your GoPro if you're doing long time lapses or even pan shots if you want to just use the tripod and turn it slowly you can get some nice pans. The only issue is the legs aren't very strong on this so it doesn't hold up in high wind I tested it out at Byron Bay Lighthouse and had a bit of trouble there, but other than that, it's very sturdy still. There are a few other things about the GoPro 3-way mount that I don't really like. The main issue with it is that it tries to do so many different things at once that it doesn't do any of those particularly well. As a tripod, it is fairly stable, but when you set it up in wind, the legs that come out of the bottom here don't really stand up, and the GoPro kind of shakes around and the tripod can fall over. As a stabiliser, even though the footage you get can look pretty smooth, I have had to apply post-processing smoothers to make the footage look good, and you can get a bit of shake with your hand. And as a pole, even though the GoPro 3-way mount is fairly sturdy, sometimes if you shake it around a lot when you're skiing or snowboarding, the position can change, and it is kind of hard to get the exact position you're looking for. Overall though, I still think that the GoPro 3-way mount is an excellent mount to have. If you're looking for a very versatile mount that you can carry with you anywhere and that will do a lot of jobs such as being a pole, a camera stabiliser, a tripod, you can pretty much set it up any way you want and use it for many different angles and techniques. The build quality is very good like I stated at the start and even though it has a few negatives attached to it, it is a very good mount overall. Now it retails for about 94 Australian dollars and you can buy it either from the GoPro official website or from Amazon. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked this short review of the GoPro 3-way mount. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video. I'll be releasing new videos every week, so stay tuned for those. Cheers for watching. See you later.